Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Green Canyon High School. You are looking live with Bear River Live. Wrapping up this three-game series. Your Bear River Bears have beat them both times. One game got postponed. We played one over at Bear River, won that one. Came back over here, won another close one. So let's take a look at the standings and see how we're sitting in Region 12. So with us beating Green Canyon twice, that's jump Mountain Crest back up to number one. And they are tied with Bear River now 10 and four, but Mountain Crest owns the tiebreaker over Bear River. So this is a huge game still for Bear River. If they get the win and Mountain Crest loses, they're playing Logan on in Logan at their senior night. So hopefully the Grizzlies can get a, get a win in that one and get the upset and that would propel Bear River to first place with a Mountain Crest loss and a Bear River win. So again, we'd like to thank you for joining us and like to thank all our sponsors for making this possible. We're getting ready for some Bear River baseball here on Green Canyon Senior Night. As the First Green Canyon the Wolves State take the field. And Tanner Watson going to start the Green Canyon Wolves off on the mound. Again, we'd like to thank a Utah State University, Brigham both Brigham City and Tremont campuses, for being a great sponsor Scott. here. Number nine, Bear Just got done with a graduation. Over there at Utah State during the Third Logan basic. campus. Number six, With Julie campuses everywhere, Denver. it's kind of hard not to be an Aggie. Six, the first baseman, number 25, Henry Wright. So looking towards the state Batting tournament, seven. if everything stays the same, Bear River stays in second place, they'll have to travel down to number Dixie. Eight, and the first game Joe they will play will be against Lehigh. They Batting are the eight. number third right team ranked out of Region number 10. Five. For the Mason. Green Canyon Wolves, if everything, again, if everything stays the same, they'll be in a third place, and they'll have to take on a Salem Hills. But only having to travel to Region 11, which would be Juan Diego. So they're going to stay a little bit closer. But again, if Mountain Crest loses, Berber wins. We get a host. So going to be up first for Bear River. It's going to be number four, Wyatt Roholt. Number four, Wyatt Roholt. Again, we'd like to thank Kent's Market for being a great sponsor here for Bear River Live and Bear River Athletics. We'll start this one off with a strike. Again, Tanner Watson on the mound for the Green Canyon Wolves. This one misses too far outside. This one swung and hit out to center field and put away out there for out number one. Actually on the mound for Green Canyon is Reese Hansen. I apologize. And that'll bring up number 15, Parker Coons. Here for a Bear River. With one out. Already here in the top of the first. There's a pitch from Hanson in the dirt for a ball. That one's in there for a strike. in there for another strike. No, 
another one from Hanson. This one in the dirt for a ball. So two balls, two strikes. One out, nobody on here for war. Parker Coombs. And this one missing again. We got a full count. And the 3 2 pitch from Hansen bounces in front of the plate. Mr. Coombs will take his spot there at first. Up Next up will third. be number three, Carson Day. First pitch to Carson Day. Goes upstairs for a ball. One out and a runner on first. Shot in there and there's a strike. One ball, one strike, one out, one on here in the top of the first. Hit on out to center field. It's going to drop. And that'll put a runner on first and second now here for the Bears. Now batting for Bear River. Number two, Kelton Summers. Good shot just to drop right in front of the center fielder. So next up for the Bears is going to be number two, Kilton Summers. He's looking at one out and two on. Here in the top of the first as we have a little meeting on the mounds. We'd like to thank the Grill for being a great sponsor. Actually got a lunch from them today. Our family celebration of graduation from the Utah State. So we're going to miss. Here it is, Summers. Going to start out 0 and 1 with one out and two on. And a good thanks to Andy Marchant for photography. I'm sure he's at Bear River today getting senior picks of softball. This one outside ties the count back up to one. One one goes outside. Two balls, one strike. Again, you have Reese Hansen on the mound here for Green Canyon. So we're gonna miss. Going to third, and he's safe. So that'll events the runners. So now you got a runner on second and third. And two balls, two strikes at the plate for Summers. I think Tangle or Tourist Trends being a great sponsor of Bear River Live. And of course your Bear River Bears. 2-2 two -two is hit up high. Gonna lose it in the sun as it's gonna drop. One hopper is gonna score here for the Bears. So 
Jackson Barrow goes up on one run. Here in the top of the first, still have a runner on first and second. That'll bring up number 19, East of the Lish. This one finds the corner for a strike. First. First one to Easton Lish. And that was in there for another strike. Still only one out, two on, 0-2 the count. This one fell away. So, so East and Lish now. Still finding off with a 0 2 count. Runners on first and second. I'd like to thank Caldwell Banker for being a great sponsor. Buy an or sell and give Gary Matson a call. He'll give you a free estimate. Inside first ball. That actually clipped him. So he'll take his base and load the bases up. Here for the Bears, bringing up number five, Braxton Jepson. Now batting for Bear River. Number five, Braxton Jepson. Bears looking good, still with only one out. I'd like to thank Sodafix for being a great sponsor. There you're actually your home run sponsor here for Bear River Baseball and Softball. First pitch misses. Gets past the catcher, and that'll bring in another run in for the Bears. So now with the runner on second and third. Bears up 2-0. One ball, no strikes. Here to Braxton Jepson. Thought about swinging. This one's too high. Goes for a ball. Here's the 2 0 pitch from Hansen. Gets it in there for strike. Another quick one. This one's chopped over to the shortstop. He gathers it up. Sends it over to first for the out. But that'll allow Bearver to score another run. Take the lead 3-0 now. Stepping up to the plate, number 14. So Goose Noble oh. now coming up for the Bears with a runner on third. Two outs now here for the Bears. Swing and a miss. There's strike one. This one chopped out to a right field. And a diving catch. He got it. He's not going to get up very fast. That will be your what a play out third out. Mason Hawkins. The right fielder, Mason Hawkins, making the catch. 
and he'll get up and walk out. But we got a 3-0 ball game here for your Bear River Bears as they take the field. We'll take a commercial break and we'll be back here for the bottom half. Don't go anywhere. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. For a genuinely warm welcome with small town friendly service, stop by The Grill. They have slowly smoked ribs, wings, and briskets, along with homemade appetizers, unique sandwiches, pizzas, and burgers. They also have tasty desserts. The Grill is a perfect location for family get-togethers or business lunches. If you'd rather, they can cater an event for you. For some added fun, call the Bowling Center and reserve a lane. Mondays are family night or swing by on $2 Tuesdays. If you like cosmic bowling, stop by on Fridays and Saturdays. No matter what you like, the Grill has something for everyone. Stop by Tori's Trends on Main Street for designer products at a hometown price. These girls behind me, they are actually my club volleyball team. Besides my family, they're one of the main reasons that I decided to go back to school. A lot of the girls would come to me and talk to me about some of the issues they were having at home or at school. And that's kind of when I decided I wanted to go back and further my education in psychology and become a high school counselor. My name is Megan Cooper and I'm an Aggie. Welcome back to Green Canyon High School. Tyler Hinkle on the mound here for your Bear River Bears. Again, it is senior night here at Green Canyon. But the Bears up 3-0 after the top of the first. We'd like to thank you for watching. I know we had kind of a glitch there. Some things are some things are out of our control. We'd like to thank Cover Up though for being a great sponsor. So starting off for Green Canyon, number one, Tanner Watson. For your screen printing and embroidery needs, Cover Up can do that. Again, Watson up for the Wolves. And there's the first pitch from Hinkle. It's an outside for a ball. Still trying to find the zone. There's ball two. Finds it that time. There's strike one. Two balls, one strike. Can't find the bottom corner. Three one the count. Another one from Hinkle. It goes in there for a strike. We got a full count now. Here for Watson. This one fouled away. Swung on, hit left, but it goes foul. Still with a full count. This one shot gets it straightened out a little bit more. And it goes foul. So another foul ball. Full count at the plate here for Watson. And Hinkle on the mound. 
Still here for the bears? And this one just misses. He'll take his base. One on for the Wolves. Now batting for GC, number four. So Alex Green Canyon Atkinson. will bring up number four, Alex Atkinson. Yeah. 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 Runner on first, still no outs. Early on here in the bottom of the first. It's a pitch in the first strike. That's the first pitch strike here for Hinkle. So we're going to miss their strike too. Here's the 0-2 pitch, but it's going to get sent over to check the runner first. He's safe. Here's the 0-2 from Hinkle. Just missing the zone. First ball here to Atkinson. And the dirt tries it at first. He gets back. So it ties the count up at two. Here with one on and no outs. Swinging a miss. Got him at the plate. He tries to steal. Second and he will. But there's the first out for strikeout. For Tyler Hinkle. So that'll bring up a number two, Brock Rinless Brocker. He's one of Green Canyon's seniors. We like to thank the Pydump for being a great sponsor here for Bear River Live and everything Bear River Athletics do. Three-o ball game. Bears in the lead. Runner on second here for the Wolves. It's only one out. Ankle gets that one in there. Strike one. This one shot back, gets it over to second baseman. Who is a little late on the throw, but gets him out still. Now batting, number nine, Bear Hell. So up now is number nine, Bear Hell. Another senior here for Green Canyon. Runner on third now. Two outs. First pitch goes low for a ball. Again, like the big soda fix for being a home run sponsor. Haven't given away one in baseball yet. Been giving them away there in softball. Courtesy of Oakley Trap as another pitch goes in there. This one misses. Two on the count, two outs, one runner on third. Tries to change up, that doesn't work. 
So three balls, no strikes. That one's in there. First strike here for Bear Hill. Hit up high and put out in center field. Round number three. That was a nice high one, fly out to center. Bear River keeps the Wolves off the scoreboard. 3-0 ball game, we'll be back for the top of the second, don't go anywhere. High Dump at Bar TL Catering is a proud sponsor of the Bear River Bears. Owners Mac and Cherie Munns have been in business for 35 years. They have a full breakfast menu, yummy options for lunch, as well as a student menu. Come taste deliciousness with the best donuts in town and their famous hot rolls and gravy. If you're new, they'll treat you to the rip and dip experience. Rent out the Pie Dump's back room for a work lunch or family dinner. They'll leave and cater. Call 435-257-3947 for more information today. Caldwell Banker has a team of dedicated professionals who handle the complex process and make sure things run smoothly. Save time and money with Caldwell Banker. Come check out the Tremont and Kent's Meat Department, where we cut meat fresh daily to make sure your dinner is always the best. We have teamed up with the Certified Angus Beef this month for a giveaway of a Weber 22-inch Smoky Mountain Cooker. Every $50 that you spend in the meat department gets you entered in. Entries will be tracked through our kickback program. The drawing will be held June 12th. Thank you for shopping at Tremont and Kent's. Need something for your sweet tooth? Stop by the grill for one of their tasty desserts. Pick one of their delicious cakes or ice cream today. Welcome back to Green Canyon High School. Starting us off here for the Bears in the top of the second. Going to be number eight, Dylan Marble. Again, we'd like to thank you for joining us. I'd like to thank Bearver Valley Hospital for being a great sponsor. This one's fouled away. First one, two. Dylan. Again on the mound here for the Wolves is Reese Hansen. This one chopped over to the second baseman, scoops this one up, sends it over to first routine out at first. There's one gone. Just a quick chopper. Over there. So next up will be number 22 now for Bear River, the pitcher, Tyler Hinkle. That one's in the first strike. Two good ball clubs going at it today. Here's another one from Hanson. This one chopped down the first baseline. And there's our number two. Two up, two down for the Bears. And well, that'll bring us to the top of the order. Number four, wide roll. Two gone on the first pitch from Hansen in the first strike. This one outside, ball one. This one shot back to the pitcher. 
Gets it out to center field. And Barrera has one on with two outs. That's a good solid hit from Brule Holt. Finding the gap. And so that'll bring up number 15, Parker Coombs. This one missing high and away. This one just missing the zone for a ball. Two balls and no strikes. Here's a pitch. Foul away. The Mountain Crest and Logan game won't happen until 6 o'clock tonight. Perks of having lights on your field. Another one misses. Parker heading the count. Three balls, one strike with a runner on first. Two outs. And that one misses as well as two get on for the Bears after the walk. That'll bring up number three, Carson Day now. Here for Bear River. Bear River. Number three, Carson Day. Two on, here's the pitch. Just missing. One oh from Hanson. Missing low again. Two balls, no strikes. The runner on first and second. Playing with two outs. Swing and a miss. That'll advance runners. One base, so you've got a runner on second and third now. Back to the plate, Carson Day. Here's a 2-1 pitch from Hanson. There's a good shot, it's gonna find the hole. Bring in a one run for the Bears, gonna try for two. And safe at home. And take a look at that replay there. As the Bears bring in two runs. How about that? Just getting past him. So that'll bring up number two, Kilton Summers, after that double by Carson Day. Now in the box for the Bears, number two, Kelton Summers. Runner on second. And the Bears still have two outs. They're dealing with Hanson on the mound. Here's a pitch from him, swung on. And not going to be able to get it. It rolls out to right. 
Carson Day stops on third after a single by Summers. A little too hot to handle as that one is shot over to second baseman. So up next for the Bears, number 19, Easton Lish. He's looking at two outs and a runner on first and third. That outside pitch is a strike. Start this one off here against Lish. Again, Reese Hansen on the mound here for the Wolves. This one shot back over to first baseman. And it's going to get the out to stop the bleeding here for the Wolves, allowing two more runs here in the top of the first. Or top of the second, excuse me. You got a 5 0 ball game. So, to the bottom half, we will go. Andy Marchant Photography specializes in portraits, family pictures, bridals, and engagements. He also takes thousands of photos of Bear River Sports, allowing you to sit back and enjoy the game while he captures all the action. Check out his website, andymarchant.com, or follow him on Instagram. Let him help you preserve your memories at a great price. The regional campus here in the community has been the reason that I went back to school. All my classes were in the evenings or late afternoons. It's been a lot of hard work, a lot of time spent away from my family, but it's so worth it. Now I can get the degree that I always dreamed. I've always wanted to be a teacher and that's going to happen now. My name is Amy Wells and I'm an Aggie. The Pie Dump has some of the best donuts around, and this weekend they'll compete for the crown of Utah's best donut at this year's Dough Show. More than 20 local donut shops and bakeries. Welcome back here to Green Canyon in the bottom of the second. We're going to start off with number six, Dewey Pander. He's another senior here at Green Canyon. Again, we'd like to thank you for joining us. Good weather for baseball, a lot better than the first time we was here, back on Tuesday, where that game got postponed and the Bears ended up making that one up yesterday with a win. Hinkle with a pitch, foul away. Bears in the lead, 5-0. And again, Dewey Panter up here for the Wolves. Another foul, this one going down third baseline. Panther behind the count, 0 and 2. And there's a hit by pitch. Putting one on here for Green Canyon. Now stepping into the box. Number 25. So we'll Henry go to the number 25, Henry Wright. He's another senior here for Green Canyon. Equal on the mound here for the Bears. Another one from him. This is Bunt Foul. One on, no out. 
And the O1 is going to be next time as they check the runner at first. Just safe. Here's a pitch and a good bunt. Try to get it at second. Now over to first. He's safe at first and second. Calls him safe there and calls him safe there at first after Carson Day does a splits. Number 11. Hey, Joe. Coach Oz comes out. And they hide behind the pole, have a little conversation with the ump. Next up for Green Canyon will be Peyton Jones. Another senior there for Green Canyon. And they don't change the call, still safe at second and first. So that'll bring up speed up runner here for Green Canyon number 31, Caleb Peterson will take over on first. Still no outs. Now that Payne Jones up to bat. Tyler Hingle on the mound here for the Bears in a 5-0 ball game. Green Canyon looking to change that here in the bottom half of inning number two. Another bunt goes high and out of play. So with the 0-1 from Hinkle, gets bunted down the third baseline and rolls foul. So we'll reset and start again with the 0-2 count here at the plate. Here in the bottom of the second, you've got two on for Green Canyon. Jones a bat, Hinkle on the mound. And a whole lot more baseball to go. There's a pitch from Hinkle, looks good, just missing. Hinkle with a 1-2, another foul ball. Rolls back towards the dugout of Green Canyon. And a hit by pitch will load the bases. Now stepping up That's number two today here for Hinkle. Number five, Mason Hawkins. So with bases loaded and no outs, brings up a number five, Mason Hawkins. He's a senior here for Green Canyon.
And I think about Tory Strange, you can go in there and mention a Bear River Live and get 10% off. I'd like to thank Tory for that as here's the pitch with bases loaded, swinging a miss. There's strike one. Hinkle with another one. This is dropping out of the zone for a ball. So the count tied at one. Base is loaded, no outs. This one floats high. Two balls, one strike. Hawkins up for Green Canyon. Heading the count 2 1, but here's a pitch that goes strike 2. This one hit up. And there's out number one for the flyout cut by White Roll. Now batting for the Wolves, number 12, Ray Jensen. So up next for the Wolves, Trave Jensen. I believe he's your last senior here for Green Canyon. Still with bases loaded. Bears got one out. Hinkle with the first pitch to him. This one's getting hits on, and it's a good one for Green Canyon as it's going to roll down. Third baseline still is chasing it down all the way to the fence, and that's going to bring a lot of runs in here for Green Canyon. There's the bases on that double. Good hard hit. Again, having troubles out there. Now the field with it. And after the dust settles, runner on second. Brings us to the top of the order with Tanner Watson. Here for Green Canyon. They score three runs. Number one, Tanner Watson. Green Canyon making up a lot of ground with that hit. One out. And like I said, there's a runner on second. Not about swinging it, drops out of the zone for a ball. And the 1-0 from Hinkle. Hit out to our right field, put out there. Runner tags up, and he's going to get there to third easily. But the Bears get out number two. And that brings up number four, Alex Atkinson. Alex First pitch high from Eagle. Inside. Ball two. Yeah. 
That one looks good and is for strike number one. So two outs, runner on third. They're trying to get out of this one after allowing three runs to come in. Still holding on to a 5-3 lead. Here go with another one. This one hit foul away. Atkinson still at the play here for the Wolves. Full count. Here comes a pitch from Hinkle. It's going to miss. And so he'll take his base. Make him two on here for a Green Canyon. Runner on first and third. And that'll bring up. Your next one for Green Canyon is going to be number two, Brock Rindlisbacher. Again, another senior here for Green Canyon. First pitch to Brock in there, strike one. <sighs> they check the runner over at first, safe. Here's the old one from Hinkle in the dirt. Ties the count up at one with two outs, two on. Another one from Hinkle. This one bounces in front of home plate. Two balls, one strike. Green Canyon's got a runner in scoring position. They've already got three runs here in this inning. Looking for more. Bears trying to get out of this one. There's a pitch in there. They're going to try to get him at first. And he's safe. So back at the plate, you got a 3-1 count in favor of a Brock. That one's in there. Strike three. Strike two, excuse me. So now we got a full count. Full count two on two out. Checks around on first again. Full count. Hinkle with the pitch in the dirt. So we'll load the bases up one more time here in the bottom of the second. Looks like we'll have a visit here on the mound. So with the Bear River win, and a Mountain Crest loss, that'll put Bear River in first place. That is
as it sits right now. Barber in second, Mountain Crest in first place. Hinkle staying on the mound. Let's see if we can finish this. This one out with bases loaded, two outs. Again, we'd like to thank you for joining us and I'd like to thank our great sponsors for making this possible. Now batting for Green Canyon, number nine, Bear Hell. Bear Hell up next for Green Canyon. Weather's made it kind of hard covering the games we wanted to cover. We've had to change our schedules around just a tad. First pitch hung out there and knocked out to a left field and a diving catch. We'll get the out. So the Bears get out, but they allow three runs in. We will be back for the top of the third. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. For life's everyday emergencies, there's Intermountain Instacare. For stuff that's more serious, there's the ER. Intermountain Healthcare, healing for life. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. For a genuinely warm welcome with small town friendly service, stop by The Grill. They have slowly smoked ribs, wings, and briskets, along with homemade appetizers, unique sandwiches, pizzas, and burgers. They also have tasty desserts. The Grill is the perfect location for family get-togethers or business lunches. If you'd rather, they can cater an event for you. For some added fun, call the Bowling Center and reserve a lane. Mondays are family night or swing by on $2 Tuesdays. If you like cosmic bowling, stop by on Fridays and Saturdays. No matter what you like, the grill has something for everyone. Stop by Tori's Trends on Main Street for designer products at a hometown price. Welcome back to Green Canyon, everybody. We'd like to thank you for joining us and taking advantage of our broadcast here this afternoon. Starting off, starting Bear River off in the top of the third is going to be number five, Braxton Jepson. Still on the mound here for the Wolves is Reese Hansen. Here in a 5 3 ball game. Leading off the third for Bear River, number five, Braxton Jepson. Last game here in the year. Regular season. First pitch to Jepson's in there for strike one. Hanson getting too far outside for ball. Another one, this one missing again. Two balls, one strike here for Jepson, who jumps ahead of the count. Pitch hit deep out to right, but it lands foul. Time the count back up to two. Here for Jepson. And again, Reese Hansen on the mound here for Green Canyon. Here's the 2 2 pitch. And it goes fair, rolling down the third baseline. 
Braxton Jepson turns that one into a double. Good way to start out here for Bear River. Jepson on second. And that'll bring up number 14, Goose and Noble, here for Bear River. Chop back to the pitcher. What a backhanded stop there. But he can't make the throw to first. That's going to bring a run in here for Bear River. And a double there for Noble. So Bears go up with another run, 6-3. to three. Here in the top of the third, bringing up number eight, Dylan Marble. Still with a runner on second now. No outs. Bears keeping their foot on the gas pedal. Fouled away back to the backstop. First one to marble. Fouled away again. Hanson on the mound for the Wolves, looking at a no ball two strike count. He's going to watch out for the runner on second. You got no outs. In the top of the third, Hanson pitching a high. Another high one. Count tied to two in a six three ball game. There's a pitch that misses way outside, bringing up a full count. Good on the catcher for staying in front of that one, though. Pitch from Hansen. It's going to be hit on and going to drop out and left. It's Noble over to third and another runner on first here for Bear River. That'll be bringing up number 22, Tyler Hinkle. Now at the stage for the Bears. So we got a little pitcher versus pitcher Tyler going on now. Hinkle. There was still no outs in the top of the third. Bears have already scored one run in this inning. Another runner on a scoring position as this one's swinging a miss.
Another one from Hansen goes wide. Try it at second, and he's going to be there safe easily. So good still from first to second. The 1 1 count here at the plate for Hinkle. Hit on out to right. Not going to get this one as it bounces off the fence. Bringing runners in. For Bear River, they shoot it over to third to try to get him. He's safe. There's a good. Another good hit by Bear River. This time by Tyler Hinkle, making it all the way to the fence. And now you'll have a still two on here for Bear River in a 7-3 ball game. Yeah, Green Canyon now having a little meeting on the mound. And they're going to switch their pitchers to number 31, Caleb Peterson. We'll be up now here for Green Canyon on the mound. He'll be looking at no outs and two on. We'll go to a commercial break, and when we come back, we'll have more Bear River Baseball for you. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. These girls behind me, they are actually my club volleyball team. Besides my family, they're one of the main reasons that I decided to go back to school. A lot of the girls would come to me and talk to me about some of the issues they were having at home or at school. And that's kind of when I decided I wanted to go back and further my education in psychology and become a high school counselor. My name is Megan Cooper and I'm an Aggie. The Pie Dump at Bartiel Catering is a proud sponsor of the Bear River Bears. Owners Mac and Cherie Munns have been in business for 35 years. They have a full breakfast menu, yummy options for lunch, as well as a student menu. Come taste deliciousness with the best donuts in town and their famous hot rolls and gravy. If you're new, they'll treat you to the rip and dip experience. Rent out the Pie Dump's back room for a work lunch or family dinner. They'll even cater. Call 435-257-3947 for more information today. Welcome back to Green Canyon High School after the pitch and change. Reese Hansen started out for the Wolves and taking his place as Caleb Peterson. Now up for Bear River. It's number four at the top of the order. Wide roll. There's a shot goes foul. Runners on second and third, still no outs here in the top of the third. This one hit deep now to uh, left field and making the catch, pedaling, backpedaling. Keeps the runners there, but now they're going to run after the throw doesn't go to nobody. That'll bring in Dylan Marble for another bear of a run. Good hit by Wyatt sending it out to left field. And then, yeah, nobody, nobody getting the ball as they let Marble score. Next up for the Bears, number 15, Parker Coombs. One out here for the Bears. This is first pitch. So Coombs goes inside. Here from Peterson. Now on the mound after taking over for uh, Reese Hansen. Chop foul. Bounce back up and hit Coombs. Try to walk it off. Usually that 
So one ball, one strike, one out, and a runner on third. He's pitching the dirt. Good on the catcher again to stay in front of it. Colt Lish is your runner on third. Chop back to the pitcher, gets past him, gets past second and short, rolling out to center, scoring another run in for Bear River. Again, everybody diving for it. Can't stop as it rolls out there to center. Parker Coombs gets an RBI, bringing up now number three, Carson Day, up to bat here for Bear River. Still with only one out. Berber in the lead, 9-3. We got four runs here. As this one will start off with a strike. There from Caleb Peterson. Here's another one today, this one in the dirt. So one ball, one strike, one out, and one runner on first. This one in the dirt again. Two balls, one strike. Coombs stays at first. This one outside. Peterson falling behind in the count, 3-1. And a 3-1 pitch from Peterson. Misses again. That'll be his first walk after taking over. Putting Carson Day on first. Coombs moving over to second. And bringing up number two, Kilton Summers. River Bears in the lead, nine to three. Still only in the top of the third. And one out. Now batting for Bear River. Number two, Kelton Summers. This one hit on over to first. And there's out number two. Runners advance now on second and third. Bringing up Easton Lish. Now up to bat, number 19, Easton Lish. Caleb Peterson's first pitch to Easton Lish is in there for strike one.
This one hit on. Gets past a short stop and diving out at third. And that'll do it, but not before Bear River adds four more runs onto their score. We move to the bottom half of the inning. We'll be right back. For a genuinely warm welcome with small town friendly service, stop by The Grill. They have slowly smoked ribs, wings, and briskets, along with homemade appetizers, unique sandwiches, pizzas, and burgers. They also have tasty desserts. The Grill is the perfect location for family get-togethers or business lunches. If you'd rather, they can cater an event for you. For some added fun, call the Bowling Center and reserve a lane. Mondays are family night or swing by on $2 Tuesdays. If you like cosmic bowling, stop by on Fridays and Saturdays. No matter what you like, the Grill has something for everyone. Caldwell Banker has a team of dedicated professionals who handle the complex process and make sure things run smoothly. Save time and money with Caldwell Banker. Come check out the Tremont and Kent's Meat Department, where we cut meat fresh daily to make sure your dinner is always the best. We have teamed up with the Certified Angus Beef this month for a giveaway of a Weber 22-inch Smoky Mountain Cooker. Every $50 that you spend in the meat department gets you entered in. Entries will be tracked through our kickback program. The drawing will be held June 12th. Thank you for shopping at Tremont and Kent's. Need something for your sweet tooth? Stop by the grill for one of their tasty desserts. Pick one of their delicious cakes or ice cream today. Andy Marchant Photography specializes in portraits, family pictures, bridals, and engagements. He also takes thousands of photos of Bear River Sports, allowing you to sit back and enjoy the game while he captures all the action. Check out his website, andymarchant.com, or follow him on Instagram. Let him help you preserve your memories at a great price. Welcome back to Green Canyon now. Tyler Hinkle on the mound still. This one's shot foul up for Green Canyon's Dewey Panther. Again, we'd like to thank you for joining us. We'd like to thank Lincoln Financial for being a great sponsor. Everybody could use some financial advice. This one hit out to center. And first out is right there. One up, one down. Start this one off here in the bottom of the third. Now stepping into the box for oh, yeah, and nobody better to give you financial advice than a Mr. Hootie Roach. I'd like to thank him for being a great sponsor for Bear Athletics. So with one out already, here's another pitch from Hinkle. Going outside, but it's still strike. down just missing up to bat here for the Wolves is Caleb Peterson he's a pitcher now taking that took over for Reese Hansen earlier this one rolled over to third shot over to first and this ball rolls past Carson Day so there's a one on here for Green Canyon Number 11, Peyton Jones. And that'll bring up a number 11 here for the Wolves, Peyton Jones. They'll bring a runner in for their pitcher. Looks like that's number 30, Mason Merrill. He'll take over there on first. 
With Peyton Jones at the plate. Taking on Tyler Hinkle on the mound here for Bear River. This one misses. So with one out, one on, your count is one ball, no strikes. Here's another one from Hinkle. Popped up high. And Carson Day getting out number two. On another fly out. Number five, Mason Hawkins. So number five, Mason Hawkins up now for Green Canyon. He's looking at two outs and a runner on first. First pitch from Hinkle inside. Ball one. This one hit out of play, foul ball. Another one missing. Two balls, one strike. There's in the lead, 10-3. to three. There's a chop over to third. Going to back over to first, and another ball gets passed. That'll advance your runners. Or your runner from second over to third third. So after the dust settles, you've got a runner on first and third with one out. Now in the box to Green Canyon, number 12, Trey Jensen. So number 12, Trey Jensen now. Let's see what he can do. Summer's given the give the infield direction. Here in a 10-3 ball game. Ever got that last run in right before the out at third in the top half. There's a pitch outside, ball one. Another one from Hinkle in there for a strike. Tying the count up at one with two outs, two on. Swing and a miss. There's strike two. Hinkle with a one-two pitch, swing and a miss, he got him. I believe that's strikeout number two for Hinkle this afternoon. Green Canyon leaves two stranded. We'll take a commercial break and be back for the top of the fourth. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Having the regional campus here in the community has been the reason that I went back to school. All my classes were in the evenings or late afternoons. It's been a lot of hard work, a lot of time spent away from my family, but it's so worth it. Now I can get the degree that I always dreamed. I've always wanted to be a teacher, and that's going to happen now. My name is Amy Wells, and I'm an Aggie. Need something for your sweet tooth? Stop by the grill for one of their tasty desserts. Pick one of their delicious cakes or ice cream today.
The Pie Dump of RTL Catering is a proud sponsor of the Bear River Bears. Owners Mac and Cherie Munns have been in business for 35 years. They have a full breakfast menu, yummy options for lunch, as well as a student menu. Come taste deliciousness with the best donuts in town and their famous hot rolls and gravy. If you're new, they'll treat you to the rip and dip experience. Rent out the Pie Dump's back room for a work lunch or family dinner. They'll leave and cater. Call 435-257-3947 for more information today. Hey everybody, welcome back to Green Canyon High School. We're with Bear River Live. We're starting off the fourth here with number five, Braxton Jepson. Started us off last inning. Where the Bears got five runs. This one's going to be chopped over to third. Can't handle it. And the shortstop has trouble with it. There's a quick one on here for the Bears. After a first pitch hit by Jepson. So that'll bring up number 14, Goose Noble. And this one's sent up high. And there's the out in left. So one out, one on. Here for the Bears, bringing up number eight, Dylan Marble. So one on one out, here's the pitch, and it misses low for a ball. And the dirt, he's going to go to second, and can't handle that, throws it, bounces over to center, he'll make his way over to third. Another good steal here for Bear River. So at the plate is Goose Noble. With one out and a runner on third. One ball, no strikes, the camp. Another one from Peterson, looks good, is good. Ties it up at one. Another ball. So two on the count at the plate with two outs of runner on third. This one gonna be a hit out to a right, right behind the pole, makes the catch. Tagging up and running in for another bear of a run is Braxton Jepson. Green Canyon gets two out. Bear River gets one more run. They lead 11-3, and that'll bring up pitcher Tyler Hinkle. Caleb Peterson pitches this one in there for a swing and a miss, strike one. This one outside for a ball. Here's the 1 1 pitch from Peterson. That one hitting the corner, strike two.
wish we had that to be able to play to the next guy that gets up there. And the one-two pitch from Peterson. Swung on, missed the catch. Can he beat the throw? He cannot, and there's out number three. Berber gets one more run. Add to their lead. And we will take a commercial break and be back for the bottom half of the fourth. 11-3, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Come check out the Tremont and Kent's Meat Department, where we cut meat fresh daily to make sure your dinner is always the best. We have teamed up with the Certified Angus Beef this month for a giveaway of a Weber 22-inch Smoky Mountain Cooker. Every $50 that you spend in the meat department gets you entered in. Entries will be tracked through our kickback program. The drawing will be held June 12th. Thank you for shopping at Tremont and Kent's. These girls behind me, they are actually my club volleyball team. Besides my family, they're one of the main reasons that I decided to go back to school. A lot of the girls would come to me and talk to me about some of the issues they were having at home or at school. And that's kind of when I decided I wanted to go back and further my education in psychology and become a high school counselor. My name is Megan Cooper and I'm an Aggie. For life's everyday emergencies, there's Intermountain Instacare. For stuff that's more serious, there's the ER. Intermountain Healthcare, healing for life. These girls behind me, they are actually my club volleyball team. Besides my family, they're one of the main reasons that I decided to go back to school. A lot of the girls would come to me and talk to me about some of the issues they were having at home or at school. And that's kind of when I decided I wanted to go back and further my education in psychology and become a high school counselor. My name is Megan Cooper and I'm an Aggie. Welcome back to Green Canyon High School. I hope we fixed our little glitches we've had now as we enter into the bottom half of any number four. We'd like to thank you for joining us. And we had a little hiccups here and there. We should be good for the duration of this one. And Berber in the lead, 11 to 3. Here at Green Canyon High School. A win here and a Mountain Crest loss at Logan. Puts us in first place. Here's a swing and foul away. Here for Tanner Watson at the top of the order here for Green Canyon. Swing and a miss. That was a good pitch by Hinkle. Here's the 0-2 hey. pitch. Hinkle can't get him. He misses this one high for a ball. This one looks good, but just misses. Ties the count up at two. And a swing gets passed. And there's the out. And strike out there by Hinkle. After the three strike rule. No, Comes into play. Number One four. out here for Alex Bear River. Atkinson. Coming up, number four, Alex Atkinson here on senior night. Yeah. Green Canyon High School. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to thank the Python for yeah. being a great sponsor and everything they do for Bear River Athletics. There's a pitch in there from Hinkle, and it is a strike one. This one in there and shot right over to <laughs> third baseman Easton Lish for the out. Ooh. 
Now up to 10. Hit right at him. It didn't even have to move. Number two, Brock. So that'll Rindless bring up Rocker. number two, Brock. Rinless Brocker. He's a senior here at Green Canyon. The Mount Crest and the Logan game will start at six. Here's a pitch from Hinkle. Fouled away to the backstop. We'll be watching that one closely if the Bears can hold on to this one. With the 11 3 lead. Another fouled away, putting the count at 0 and 2 with two outs. Silvio 2 from Hinkle. Hits the dirt. There's ball one. This one hit up high. And running it down. Coming out of center field. It's Parker Coombs. Retiring the side. Three up, three down. Bear River still in the lead. 11-3. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere. For a genuinely warm welcome with small town friendly service, stop by The Grill. They have slowly smoked ribs, wings, and briskets, along with homemade appetizers, unique sandwiches, pizzas, and burgers. They also have tasty desserts. The Grill is a perfect location for family get-togethers or business lunches. If you'd rather, they can cater an event for you. For some added fun, call the Bowling Center and reserve a lane. Mondays are family night or swing by on $2 Tuesdays. If you like cosmic bowling, stop by on Fridays and Saturdays. No matter what you like, the grill has something for everyone. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. The Pie Dump at Bar TL Catering is a proud sponsor of the Bear River Bears. Owners Mac and Cherie Munns have been in business for 35 years. They have a full breakfast menu, yummy options for lunch, as well as a student menu. Come taste deliciousness with the best donuts in town and their famous hot rolls and gravy. If you're new, they'll treat you to the rip and dip experience. Rent out the Pie Dump's back room for a work lunch or family dinner. They'll even cater. Call 435-257-3947 for more information today. Having the regional campus here in the community has been the reason that I went back to school. All my classes were in the evenings or late afternoons. It's been a lot of hard work, a lot of time spent away from my family, but it's so worth it. Now I can get the degree that I always dreamed. I've always wanted to be a teacher, and that's going to happen now. My name is Amy Wells, and I'm an Aggie. Welcome back, everybody, to Green Canyon High School. Here in an 11-3 ball game. Wide roll hold at the plate. Chops this one foul. You have Caleb Peterson still on the mound here for the Wolves. After taking over for their starter, Reese Hansen. Another one close, just missing the zone. One ball, one strike. Another one up. This one's hit out to uh, left, and there's out number one. Here for the Wolves. Up now for Bear River. It's going to be number 15, Parker Coombs. 
First one to him in the dirt for ball. Here's another with another one. This one shit out to center. And there's out number two. One, two up, two down. Here in the top of the fifth. So coming up is Carson Day. Carson Day. Two pop outs to start the top of the fifth off here for Bear River. And Day watches a strike go by. This one looks good, and he is. There's strike number two. Two outs, no on here for Bear River. Peterson with the 0 2 pitch in the dirt. Another one, this one's hit out. And that hits off the wall, bringing it back in. As there's a stand up double there for Carson Day. Good deep hit out to center right. Starts us off here with two outs. In the top of the fifth, but you got a runner on second now, bringing up number two, Kilton Summers. This one in there for a strike to be a little on the inside. The old one count with two outs, one on. This one swung on and missed. It's one oh two count here for Summers with a runner on second. This one misses way outside. Peterson with the 1 2 pitch. Hit over to third. And the out at first. Ends the top of the fifth. Bears leave one stranded. 11 to 3 ball game after the routine out there at first. We'll go to the bottom half. We'll be right back. Come check out the Tremont and Kent's Meat Department, where we cut meat fresh daily to make sure your dinner is always the best. We have teamed up with the Certified Angus Beef this month for a giveaway of a Weber 22-inch Smoky Mountain Cooker. Every $50 that you spend in the meat department gets you entered in. Entries will be tracked through our kickback program. The drawing will be held June 12th. 
Thank you for shopping at Tremont and Kent's. Stop by Tori's Trends on Main Street for designer products at a hometown price. Andy Marchant Photography specializes in portraits, family pictures, bridals, and engagements. He also takes thousands of photos of Bear River Sports, allowing you to sit back and enjoy the game while he captures all the action. Check out his website, andymarchant.com, or follow him on Instagram. Let him help you preserve your memories at a great price. Need something for your sweet tooth? Stop by the grill for one of their tasty desserts. Pick one of their delicious cakes or ice cream today. Caldwell Banker has a team of dedicated professionals who handle the complex process and make sure things run smoothly. Save time and money with Caldwell Banker. Welcome back to Green Canyon High School where the Bears and a commanding lead 11 to 3. Here as we start the top of the fifth, or bottom of the fifth off, excuse me. Tyler Hinkle still on the mound here for Bear River. And that'll bring up number nine, Bear Hale for Green Canyon. He's one of the seniors on this senior night here for the Wolves. Had a couple of glitches in this one. If you want to go back and rewatch it all, we'll have it on. We'll have it on our YouTube channel without the glitches. There's the first one from Hinkle. And that one's in there for strike. This one outside and in the dirt for a ball. Found the way. Sitting in there with an 0-2 count. Again, Bear Hill, you're up too bad for the Wolves. You go put another one in there. Swung on, missed. Kelton finishes it off at first. Strike out. One up, one down so far here for Bear River. Number six. And that'll bring up a Dewey. number six, Dewey Panther, another senior here at Green Canyon. <laughs> With one gone, here's the pitch from Hinkle. Swung on. Hit over to Roll Holt. Gathers, zips it over to first, and there's two gone. So two up, two down. Now batting. And so that'll bring up the pitcher, number 31, Caleb, Caleb Peterson. Peterson. That one in there for a strike from Tyler Hinkle. Here's a good poke out to left field. That'll get a single on here for the Wolves. Now stepping up to the plate, number 11, Peyton Jones. Peyton Jones up now here for Green Canyon. Number 30, Mason Merrill. Mm -hmm. Mason Merrill coming in for the pitcher at first. Again, like I says, Peyton Jones 
here at the plate for the Wolves. Swing and a miss for strike. Pitch again for Amigo. And again, we'd like to thank Kent's Market for being a great sponsor here at Bear Ever Live. Fresh produce. Like on that commercial you just saw, getting their meat ready here. This one's fouled away. Oh, to the camp. Two outs. And a run around first. Sending it over to Carson Day. It'll be safe at first still. For the one ball, two strikes. Camp. This one swung on, missed, throw to first is out number three. Kelton gathers this one up and sends it over to first, ending the fifth inning. We'll be back for the top of the sixth. Don't go anywhere. Having the regional campus here in the community has been the reason that I went back to school. All my classes were in the evenings or late afternoons. It's been a lot of hard work, a lot of time spent away from my family, but so worth it. Now I can get the degree that I always dreamed. I've always wanted to be a teacher, and that's going to happen now. My name is Amy Wells, and I'm an Aggie. For life's everyday emergencies, there's Intermountain Instacare. For stuff that's more serious, there's the ER. Intermountain Healthcare. Healing for life. The Pie Dump at Bartiel Catering is a proud sponsor of the Bear River Bears. Owners Mac and Cherie Munns have been in business for 35 years. They have a full breakfast menu, yummy options for lunch, as well as a student menu. Come taste deliciousness with the best donuts in town and their famous hot rolls and gravy. If you're new, they'll treat you to the rip and dip experience. Rent out the Pie Dump's back room for a work lunch or family dinner. They'll leave and cater. Call 435-257-3947 for more information today. And back at it here in the top of the sixth. We start with Easton Lish here for the Bears. First pitch to him is in the zone for strike. From number 31, Kayla Peterson. Still on the mound here for the Wolves. This one in the dirt and back behind catcher. So one ball, one strike. There's another one from Peterson, fouled away by Lish. It's so another one, two. Misses outside. Ties the count up here for Easton Lish on deck. You'll have Braxton Jepson here in an 11 3 ball game. Ooh, got him looking. 
There's our number one. So Braxton Jepson going to be up here for Bear River. Now stepping up at the plate for Bear River. After he strike out. Braxton Jensen. Jepson. First pitch to Braxton outside for ball one. It's getting about that time, thinking about dinner. Nobody better place than the grill. There's a swing and a miss. Ties the count up at one with one out. Nesson falling out of the zone low for ball number two. Peterson only has one strike on him. Another one misses. Peterson falls way behind. Three balls, one strike. Bulls have already got one out. Here in the top of the sixth. There's a shot over to second baseman who can't get the handle on that one and thinking about going to second and then stops. So one on for the Bears. See the ball getting a rest out there just in front of center right. Runner on first with one out. There's a pitch missing. I'm going to try to get him at first. He's safe. Goose Noble now up for Bear River as he watched the first ball go by. Another one to Noble. This one in the dirt. Catcher's got to come back for that one, and that'll advance your runner over to second. After a ball number two from Peterson. Two zero in there for a strike. Another one misses. Three balls or one strike. One out, and you have that runner on second. Noble with another one pitch to him, and there's a strike. And so detour over to the dugout. And come back. We got a full count now here for Noble. With one on, one out. Full count, the pitch from Peterson. Swing and a miss, he got him there. So now number eight, Dylan Marble will come out and see what he can do with two That's outs on a runner on. Bears. Number eight, Dylan Marble. I want 
That one's in there for a strike one. By Caleb Peterson. Here on the mound for the Wolves. This one misses. Ties the count up at one to LaMarble. Up to bat here for the Bears. And the 1-1 from Peterson's hit up high. Single baseman calls for it, and there's out. And number three, Bear River leaves a one-stranded after the pop-out. We'll move to the uh, bottom half of inning number six. Still 11-3. We'll be right back. These girls behind me, they are actually my club volleyball team. Besides my family, they're one of the main reasons that I decided to go back to school. A lot of the girls would come to me and talk to me about some of the issues they were having at home or at school. And that's kind of when I decided I wanted to go back and further my education in psychology and become a high school counselor. My name is Megan Cooper and I'm an Aggie. Caldwell Banker has a team of dedicated professionals who handle the complex process and make sure things run smoothly. Save time and money with Caldwell Banker. Stop by Tories Trends on Main Street for designer products at a hometown price. Andy Marchant Photography specializes in portraits, family pictures, bridals, and engagements. He also takes thousands of photos of Bear River Sports, allowing you to sit back and enjoy the game while he captures all the action. Check out his website, andymarchant.com, or follow him on Instagram. Let him help you preserve your memories at a great price. Welcome back to Green Canyon High School. Bear River in the lead, 11 to 3. So we'll go to the bottom of the sixth, and that'll bring in Mason. number five, a Mason Hawkins. Hawkins. Here for Green Canyon. Tyler Hinkle still on the mound here for Old Bear River. There's a pitch in there, missing the zone outside for a ball. Still looking for the zone, ball two. And that one looks good, and he is strike one. Here from Hinkle. The state tournament will start on the 11th. That's next Saturday. We'll have Lady Bears softball for you as they host the first round. And thought about swinging. Should have their strike two. Ties the count up at two. And the Bears get a win here. Mountain Crest with a loss at Logan. This one's hit foul away. And Bear Bears will host. The Mount Crest and Logan game doesn't start till six. You have to wait a little bit to find out what happens there. There's a two-two pitch from Hinkle in the dirt. Full count now. Here to number five, Mason Hawkins, another senior here for Green Canyon. There's a pitch and misses in the dirt, and there's going to be a a walk to start us out here in the bottom of the sixth. So coming in next up for the Wolves is going to be number 12, Trey Jensen. Number 12, Trey 
Jensen. Another senior here on senior night. They lock the door and turn the lights down low. Runner on no outs. Here's the pitch from Inkle. Hit it back over to Roholt. Sends it over to second for the out there and can't make the double play. So a runner on here for the Wolves after the Bears get the out at second. Take a look at it right here. Good on, good on Carson laying out there for that one. Just a little out of reach. So at the top of the order here for Green Canyon is Tanner Watson. Again, thank you for tuning in and watching this game. As always here on Bear River Live, this is a pitch from Hinkle. Just missing the zone. Hinkle with another one. This one just misses. Two balls, no strikes with a runner on first. Bears have already got one out. Fell back away to the backstop. Here's a shot, and there's an out in center field. Round number two. Now digging in for the so after the pop out, gonna bring number four, Alex, Alex Atkinson. Atkinson. Yeah. We'll still have that yeah. runner on first. Yeah. Yeah. Pitch low in the corner for a ball. Another one just missing. Ball two. Atkinson fouls this one away. Puts the count of two balls with one strike. In there, ties the count of two now. Missing in the corner, full count. Now here for number four, Alex Atkinson. With already two outs, Eagle steps off. Tosses it over to Day. A little catch here with the full count with two outs, one on. Bottom of the sixth. This one hit over to Wyatt Roholt. 
Sends it over to first, and there's out number three. So six innings in the books. Bear River leads 11 to 3. We'll be back for the top of the seventh. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. For a genuinely warm welcome with small town friendly service, stop by the grill. They have slowly smoked ribs, wings, and briskets, along with homemade appetizers, unique sandwiches, pizzas, and burgers. They also have tasty desserts. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. These girls behind me, they are actually my club volleyball team. Besides my family, they're one of the main reasons that I decided to go back to school. A lot of the girls would come to me and talk to me about some of the issues they were having at home or at school. And that's kind of when I decided I wanted to go back and further my education in psychology and become a high school counselor. My name is Megan Cooper and I'm an Aggie. For life's everyday emergencies, there's Intermountain Instacare. For stuff that's more serious, there's the ER. Intermountain Healthcare, healing for life. Welcome back to Green Canyon High School, an 11-3 ball game. Starting us off here in the top of the seventh is pitcher number 22, Tyler Hinkle. Still on the mound here for the Wolves is 31, Caleb Peterson. We'll start this one off with a swing and a miss from Eagle Strike 1. a good deep hit into center left and put away so on number one that will bring up the next batter here for Bear River and we go to the top of the lineup with number four White Rojo number four White Rojo First pitch strike there from Caleb Peterson. Foul away. Roll falls behind. 0-2 at the count. And with one out gone already. Inside and high. There for the first ball to Wyatt. In the dirt, there's ball two tying the camp. And that's a two pitch. Fell away. Roll hold sticking in there with a two two count. Another one popped out about the same spot. Now to center left and another fly out. So two up, two down. Here to start this one out for Bear River. Both fly outs out to 
center left. No, we're not. Almost right behind the pole. So we'll go to number 15, Parker Coombs. Number 15, Parker Coombs. A little high for a ball. That one's a strike one. Here it comes with two outs and nobody on. Same spot, strike two. This one sails on him for ball number two. Two's across the board here in the top of the seventh. This one shot back to the pitcher. And one, two, three, they go in order. They're in the top of the seventh. So we go to the bottom of the seventh and see if Green Canyon can keep this one going. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere. For a genuinely warm welcome with small town friendly service, stop by the grill. They have slowly smoked ribs, wings, and briskets, along with homemade appetizers, unique sandwiches, pizzas, and burgers. They also have tasty desserts. The Grill is a perfect location for family get-togethers or business lunches. If you'd rather, they can cater an event for you. For some added fun, call the Bowling Center and reserve a lane. Mondays are family night or swing by on $2 Tuesdays. If you like cosmic bowling, stop by on Fridays and Saturdays. No matter what you like, the Grill has something for everyone. Caldwell Banker has a team of dedicated professionals who handle the complex process and make sure things run smoothly. Save time and money with Caldwell Banker. Andy Marchant Photography specializes in portraits, family pictures, bridals, and engagements. He also takes thousands of photos of Bear River Sports, allowing you to sit back and enjoy the game while he captures all the action. Check out his website, andymarchant.com, or follow him on Instagram. Let him help you preserve your memories at a great price. Stop by Tori's Trends on Main Street for designer products at a hometown price. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Caldwell Banker has a team of dedicated professionals who handle the complex process and make sure things run smoothly. Save time and money with Caldwell Banker. For a genuinely warm welcome with small town friendly service, stop by The Grill. They have slowly smoked ribs, wings, and briskets, along with homemade appetizers, unique sandwiches, pizzas, and burgers. They also have tasty desserts. The Grill is a perfect location for family get-togethers or business lunches. If you'd rather, they can cater an event for you. For some added fun, call the Bowling Center and reserve a lane. Mondays are family night or swing by on $2 Tuesdays. If you like cosmic bowling, stop by on Fridays and Saturdays. No matter what you like, The Grill has something for everyone. Welcome back to Green Canyon High School, bottom of the seventh. Here we go. Starting off with number two, Brock Rinless Baker. We had a pigeon change on the mound now. Closing this one out, number three, Carson Day. Here for Bear River. Okay, I'll take 
shit out there as well. Not much else allowed in here. First pitch from Days. A little high for a ball. And there's strike one. Here for Carson Day. Like I said, he's going against Brock Rinless Pucker. Another from Day, foul away. Here's the count to one and two. And there's a good hit by Brock. There's a good single. Shout out to right field. Now batting, number nine, Bear Hale. So the runner on first, no outs. Bottom of the seventh. Going to bring up number nine, Bear Hale, here for the Green Canyon Wolves. He is a singer. Pitch to him inside for a ball. Carson Day puts another one in there and it goes outside. Two balls, no strikes. Doesn't shot back to shortstop, runner already there. At second, they'll get the out of first as he runs over to third. And there's a double play for Bear River. There's the shot over to third. There in plenty of time. Number six, Dewey Cantor. So two gone here for Green Canyon in the bottom of the seventh. Dewey Panther up now here for Green Canyon. Picking on Carson Day on the mound here for the Bears. Pitch from Day misses. Did you back the play ball to the game last year? No. Did you back the play ball to the game last year? Really? Oh. 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 So you just bought you everybody just bought you that right? Yeah, I'd like to thank Soda Fix again for being our home run sponsor this season for both softball and baseball. Here's a pitch. Carson Day. This one misses outside again. Two balls, no strikes, two outs. Nobody on after the double play. That one's in the first strike from Carson Day. This one popped up out of play for foul. So again, the state tournament starts on the 11th. That's Saturday next week. 
River Light will be there for Lady Bear Softball. Bear Rivers can host as well, depending on the Mount Crest Logan game. We should have one of them for you also, as this one's hit deep. Out to center field and put away. And the Bears take care of business here at Green Canyon with a sweep. Dropping Green Canyon down to third in region. They fall nine to six is their region record. So they will take on from a region 10. Second place from region 10 would be Salem Hills. Berber stays in second unless Mountain Crest loses. Berber Bar will take on Lehigh. But you have to travel down St. George for that one. So we'd like to thank all our sponsors for making this possible all season long, all school year long. This is our last, maybe our last one here for Berber Baseball. And those are the people you have to thank right there for allowing us to come do this. Yeah, Caldwell Banker, you got Lincoln Financial. And of course, Utah State University, Tories Trends. Go mention Bearable Live, get 10% off there. That's second like main. Pepper Valley Hospital, Tagwood Studios, SodaFix. Thanks again for being our home run sponsor this year. We'd like to thank the Grill, Kent's Market, any March of Photography, like I said, is probably at Softball getting your shots there for their senior day. The Pine Up and Cover Up. Another great sponsors here at Bear River Live and Bear River High School. So again, your Bears get the win and the sweep. I score 11 to three here at Green Canyon High School. We will see you next Saturday for some region play through KSL. You've been watching Bear River Live.